Hello, Internet. I am Nick, and this is Civ 6. So, uh, we're playing Gogo, as per all the other episodes. Um, Gogo of Sparta, with the evil Gogo of Corinth to our east. I believe we're still at war with Gogo of Corinth. But in any case, Loading into this game, hearing green sleeves uh, in the background, and and on that note, actually, I should turn the sound. Do I have my? Oh, good. Sometimes I put the music back up on full. Uh, anyway, uh, hearing green sleeves, I'm like, oh, I am in the medieval age after all. And then I'm like, oh, it's 1050 BC, and. Then I realize all all of the games that I've played of Civ so far, uh, you significantly outpace. Um, well, I guess we'll see how long it takes us to get the Renaissance era, but and I suppose we haven't really filled out all the classical era things, but. Most of the AIs are well into the medieval era. Oh, huh. we're actually beating Gorgo of current significantly on tech. Uh, but that's probably just because we have an apprenticeship and she doesn't. She's probably, what would she have? She's one of these ones. Uh, anyway. Uh, this whole boost thing, I think, it really throws out um, the the timing and the pacing of the game, as I've commented before. But anyway, we'll get to actually playing the game. Uh, so last episode, we completed our uh, industrial zone districts in both Eph Ephesus and Sparta. And Ephesus is now pumping out the encampment to then build the Alhambra which we're getting from castles which we'll need to have the military policy slot because we're going for an achievement where we have 12 policy slots as Greece and Greece gets an extra policy slot um, an extra wildcard policy wildcard policy slot for being Greek um, actually we can see that here uh, Plato's Republic, one extra wildcard policy slot in any government. Uh, the highest level government has eight policy slots. Uh, yeah, so these all have eight policy slots. And then we get that plus one to make it nine. And then we need three of the four to get to 12. Uh, so I guess we don't need all of them, but I'm going to try to get all of all four of those wonders. So that's the Alhambra for a military slot, the uh, Patala Palace for a diplomatic slot, the Forbidden City for another wildcard slot, and Big Ben for an economic policy slot. Uh, yeah, and then otherwise we're just going for a cultural victory. So we've pretty much identified that... Uh, we're just, I mean, Mycenae, we're doing some tech because we've got these rainforests. Um, but I'm actually planning, for Athens, I'm planning to, to have that uh, Acropolis there, next to Athens, and uh, which is the Greek replacement of a theatre district. Um, and yeah, I'm not really sure what else I'll do. Athens has a lot of food and then it has some gold with these diamonds. Um, so, and obviously it's on the coast. We could have some harbor, probably put a harbor there or there because then it's actually next to a, a bonus resource to get the adjacency bonus on that. Um, but apart from that, it's not really a great place for anything apart from food. So I'm thinking that Athens will end up sort of de dedicating what production it does have to 
just building the theatre buildings and uh, what else it has uh, production for. Like, I don't know how um, staffed, well, like, it's going to be staffed for production, I don't know how much extra bonus things we're going to be able to build here. Um, I guess build builders whenever we don't have uh, actual uh, district or building things that we need for it. And then the rest of it's just going to be all this food's going to support a, uh, a class of uh, artistic specialists that will sit in that district making culture, I assume. Uh, my senior is going to have that campus there and a, a Acropolis there and a harbour there. Um, or the harbour can go there. Uh, but if we have that harbour then we've got, we've got lots of Acropolis bonuses so we, that's a good place to just making culture and then these two will be our military and production wonder powerhouses uh, to get those wonders. Anyway, let's just uh, play this game. Last game we got uh, our first great person which is Boudicca, who is a great general. What's the special ability? Oh, special ability she converts. Uh, barbarians. So Sparta needs more housing and oh, my city needs more housing. What's uh, needs was which unit is this? Oh, uh, okay. You are gonna go go back there. You're gonna go there. You're gonna pretty much sit there, but I don't want to. Be completely unsafe. Oh, actually, can I fire on that guy? Yeah, let's fire. Good. Uh, right there. Where were those? Oh, there's some barbarian encampment there. That's what I need to get rid of. I had a barbarian encampment there, so I might. Go clear those out. Is there any barbarian encampments around here? No. I really do need to build some uh, more military units to defend my western cities. Uh, so you will go there and then fortify there. Um, you probably need to. Let's just put my field there. Move you back. Uh, Boudicca, sleep there until further notice. Bring our warrior down so we can use two warriors and an archer, maybe two archers, um, against this encampment. Um, oh, there's an encampment up there as well. I need to deal with that one. send you north. Uh, I think that's... Yeah, let's send you back. I need a warrior to deal with that encampment because hoplites are just bad.
well, just bad at, at the um, melee versus melee because they're an anti cavalry unit. Actually, I might just leave you there. You're on the road, that's pretty mobile. Now they move into that marsh. So, that's really bad for them. Let's see if we can just... Um, I guess you can actually go back home. is a problem. Can I have to approach from the north, maybe? If only I had sailing. I need sailing in this situation so I can get my guys across the water. Currently they don't know how to do that. Uh, let's do some hitting. Feet. Let's just fortify. So who can build? What did I just complete here? Uh, I wonder. Was it? Actually, I'll be able to see. I built a monument. Okay, that's what I did. Um, what are they doing? I don't know if you can hear that, but my neighbors are just banging against the wall. Um, okay. So. Not a campus. Could, I, oh, I don't have the range right now. A uh, granary. I guess it's just builders. Just build some builders. When you don't have anything else, build builders. Oh, actually, eventually you're going to need the granary, so... Actually, you're going to need the builders more. Never have enough builders. Ooh, that's a problem. <laughs> I um <laughs> I succeeded at that promise by destroying their city. we lost, no we don't, haven't lost Buenos Aires' suzerain bonus, but um, evidently we just, our population is too high. Um, not quite, oh war weariness, okay. Wow, if it wasn't for the war weariness we'd actually be pretty ahead, like what? What are the luxury... See, this is just annoying. I, I want to know which luxury resources this place has access to. And it doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me where these amenities come from. Um, I know that... So, we have Mercury, which presumably Mercury is making... Oh, actually, there's five cities, so... 
think it's the four closest. Oh, it's oh, stupid. Uh, no? Oh, I'm misspelling amenities, that's what I'm doing. It's right in front of me and I didn't misspell it. Oh, okay. Uh, each luxury resource contributes four amenities to your empire, one per city for the four cities that need them most. Um, okay, anyway, so I have that Mercury there. I have those diamonds. So that's two like for resources, as far as I'm aware, plus two bonus resources due to our um, suzerain bonus thing with Buenos Aires. Uh, so yeah, so bananas and rice are given plus two happiness here. Ephesus also unhappy. They have four amenities. Pharsalus has zero amenities. Mycenae uh, has two, which I'm assuming are oh, just those two, the diamonds and the and two. Okay. Unit needs orders. Uh, what's this? So this build has one charge. Can we use that one charge on anything? Um, I could go down and build a stone there. That might be... I can kind of kickstart that. The economy of Fasalas. Or just keep that builder there and get Sparta to build a builder. Okay, so. Oh. I thought. I. Oh, maybe it was just one unit need moving and. Mycenae. Oh. Yeah, that's not the best use of... Hmm. I weakened my... Frontier. <laughs> should have swapped out military training, but I'm an idiot. Um, keep on doing this, I keep on forgetting to swap between things. Anyway. Anyway. So, 
campus here maybe? Probably not, no. Uh, we could build an entertainment complex for amenities, but is that what we want, what we need? Let's bang out some builders. At least let's... encampment, just what I wanted for Christmas. Keep, why, don't, why don't they land on the empty space instead of amphibiously assaulting and losing? The AI is just so unbelievably terrible at this game. land that much I'm just gonna smash their faces in Well, I'm lucky I didn't use up that builder, because that builder can do some things. Uh, no. Okay, wiped out the barbarians. Just grinding up my archers' levels. 
Oh, they landed. Okay, so I don't want... Oh, and we're getting a library next time. Maybe we should send our... Okay, when he heals up, we'll send them down and get rid of that encampment. Now. Okay, that's a, that's a good plan, AI. Good plan. Just how did we boost that? We got military training or Ah, built three specialty districts. Okay. Good things. Uh maths is just going along. So yeah, if we want Explore it. Oh, that's not good. Okay, none of that is good, but anyway. We could just slam out six farms, which is one. We've got two farms currently, I think. We might have. No, we only have two farms. Okay, now the big question. Do we go for land units or oh, is it melee and range lands units or do we go for horses? Uh, because they're mutually exclusive. So we could have one specialized in horses and the other in land units. Uh, right now we don't actually have any horses. There are horses near us but we have not actually captured them and we never will unless we build new cities um, so I guess that makes this decision fairly easy uh, otherwise oh this has maintenance costs that's not fun Uh, so that doesn't actually do anything by itself, like it, oh yeah, it has the adjacency bonus thing, um, so we're 13 turns away from being able to build the Alhambra, so we want to ideally be doing something that takes us about 13 turns, um, so that could be 9 plus 4 turns, or, yeah, let's just get this barracks or oh, we are really running away from this money thing okay campus we should probably just look at here oh you're now losing go okay that's not good uh How are you applying your citizens then? If... What, what are you doing differently then? 
that little stand? Oh, okay. the amount of beakers. We're still getting more from Sparta though. What are we building here? Could build granary. That could might be the best option. Unless we get another builder. Always want builders. Or we could just get great size points and science. you to slam things in close. Um. Hmm. But anyway, we're not going to go down that path. Uh, we could get this Acropolis, but then that costs gold maintenance, which we don't have. Nothing there. So Granary might be the best. Let's just do that. Cool, and we get an envoy. So, we could get the Nanbadol thing now that we actually are building a theatre square. Maybe that's worth it. Um, we're still the suzerain of Buenos Aires. So. achievement. So, um, do we have a... Wow, okay. That's certainly a thing. If we move you there, then we can move you here and fire on you. here. I'll build it here as well. They can't attack us in one turn. Uh, now, this builder is going there because we're going to turn that into a mine. And we're going to build in this location another builder maybe? What does that give great engineer points? How are the stakes for great people going? Uh, which Greece? Oh, that's our Greece. Okay, so we are going to get a great engineer. No one else is going to get there before we do. And that's a useful enough uh, ability there. Let's 
How much is 645 production? Wow, okay, so, oh, it's um, the speed that makes it. So it's, it's roughly half a Coliseum. It, well, okay, it's roughly half a classical wonder. Um, all the classical era wonders are uh, based cost 400 production, so then that becomes 1200 on marathon mode, which is what we're playing on. Uh, ooh. Anna Nzinga. That's, uh, we're on target to get them first as well. And did I? Oh, I forgot to swap out the government's... Would there have been anything that I really wanted? Uh, not that I necessarily can see. Wow, okay. Uh, but anyway, no. There's nothing we like, need. Uh, so you are Sparta, maybe f have you finished your, oh, anyway well, let's get another builder, just hit out the builders, um, So, on target for Great Engineer, Great Merchant, not really, but that's a bad ability. Uh, great Profit, we're not really trying to get a Great Profit, probably should be aiming for some of these. Get some great artists and cultural people to culture our place up. Yeah. So. Really waiting for this trader to finish his trade route thing. Can I view the trade? No. Okay, they've completely retreated because they're cowards. And they will not win that melee fight. Just like that. Uh, repair. You can fortify. You can fortify. And another great turn in the land of Nick. Okay, the Oracle has been finished by Japan. Corinth has set out uh, an invasion of half-strength people. Ooh. Is there something we can actually... Are we still on... Which is not that one. Yeah, we've still got your come on. Probably want to swap out... Um, for something. What's the situation there? <sighs> what else could we build? Oh, we could build another settler. But what's our purpose in doing that? Apart from just plugging holes so people don't fill them with their cities because they're annoying. No, don't really have any big plans. So given that, it's, it's kind of okay to chop and put that into builder. Uh, this archer is going to 
Oh no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Okay, hopefully no one takes my builder now. Because that would be not nice of them to do. This archer can... yet again. Chickened out. Hmm, I wonder. Dear Ephesus, can you... No, no. <laughs> no is the answer. Oh. Oh, no, no. I'd need probably about, like... 7.30 it looks like. Mm. We need to buy that tile. Eventually. Okay, anyway. This unit is not going to go there. It's going to go home. And you're just going to skip the turn for one more turn. Maybe I should actually directly ask Corinth, can we have peace? Because I'm getting tired of this war. How much war weariness do I have on this note? Probably a lot. They probably have a lot of war weariness as well. Negative three. I haven't taken any casualties. They've taken lots of casualties. Okay, is the, the case of even more builders? So that builder. So we built that mine not only because the mine is better, but it also buffs that industrial zone. So it's now producing plus three production. Uh, with the remaining build slot of this one guy. Be is that is the builder of there? Yeah, probably. Uh, probably should keep him in Sparta. Send this builder over to Athens. All these three charges. You can go back to Sparta. Right, let's get our guys in position to attack that. Probably ask this, this idiot, can we make peace? They're gonna have to give me things, I guess. No way, I'm just offering stuff. Ah, it seems England's cleared it out for us, so that's okay. You sleep for a thousand years. Uh, we could 
could move our hoplites north just to fire some arrows at a ship. When have I ever not wanted to fire some arrows at the ship? Ooh, okay. Trade route is finished. We can get a new trade route. At least this time they've attacked the people who aren't a forest. Okay. Ah, the Ephesus trade route has a lot to offer. Probably... So we get more gold from Birmingham. Vassalis still can't get to Athens. Um, a robe to Pharsalus would yield us strategic advantages. Can I rebase you? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Where shall I rebase you to? thinking Mycenae because then even if we can't get to Athens we can at least get to Ephesus and uh, and fill Mycenae with the Ephesus production um, okay, we're basing to Ephesus come from okay Archer has nothing to do fortify Ephesus oh you can get to Athens you can also get to Buenos Aires now, do we have any get me a trade route things going on? None, Madol says get me a trade route. Anyway, uh, what does tell me what it gives? Is production one way? Oh, in trade one way, or I know it's. Uh, different in the different ways, but it's, does it normally give nothing? Uh, trade. Trader. Uh, no. That doesn't explain any of that. Foreign trade. Oh no, that's just. That's a tech. Is that also a... yep. So, uh, trade posts, increasing trade routes, trade demand, and discuss. That sounds like it's... oh, okay. Oh, that's that. Let's just look for tra trade in here. It's probably faster. Obtaining gold. 
wants me to go diplomacy. Um, trade the introduction. Yeah, I don't know whether it's goes both ways, but anyway. Um. Oh, I sent the trader to Ephesus. Okay, I thought I tried sent the trader to Mycenae. So. Ephesus hmm. Yeah, I was sure I Still that could be good to just If I could try to cross water, I could get to Namdal. Anyway, um, I think I actually want to send it to Athens then. Athens or Mycenae. What's Athens' deal? Like, are you happy, Athens? Do you have housing issues, Athens? Okay, I guess you don't have any housing issues. Uh, so, we are how many turns away? Five turns away. Let's get an archer. You are going to Athens, I think. Or my city. Yeah, let's well, send you at Athens. Okay, Athens to... Oh, so you can't reach. Interesting. Why could Ephesus reach Athens? Athens can't reach Ephesus. Uh, in any case... I guess we go Buenos Aires. That's just not... Hmm. It's very odd. I don't know why Ephesus had longer trade range than Sparta did. Anyway, let's just go to Buenos Aires then. No benefits from this route. Oh, actually it would tell me. I do want to. I want 
to build up my range of, of roads. Probably. Ooh. Okay. That was very unwise of you. Okay, that was also unwise of me. So, uh, does that mean my trader died? God, I just dismiss this thing. Dear Ephesus, can you build me a builder? I mean a trader. Oh, eight turns. Okay, we'll get... We'll get Sparta to do it. Because... I still don't understand how Sparta has more of a production base than... Ephesus does. Just yeah, I don't know. I don't really understand. But anyway, at this point, I think I've uh, blabbered on enough for one session. So we are making progress. Slow progress, perhaps. Uh, it's good to finally get some buildings out and be about to to start on our Alhambra quest uh, I hope you are enjoying this so far and I will see you all next time enjoy the internet